Welcome back, it's your guy Engineer Mojo with another car tutorial video. This is part two of a two part series. This part will tell you how to install a new rear view camera in your vehicle. Part one showed you how to install a new head unit that will actually receive a video signal. So I showed you how to install a new head unit that actually has a screen. Part two, how to install the rear view camera. As always, to get started off fast, the tools you'll need are the following. You'll need flex tubing to protect your wires that are running outside your vehicle. You need some butt splices, 18 to 22 gauge. You'll also need some spare wire, 18 to 22 gauge. And you'll need some T-splices or tap splices. I'll show you how to use these if you haven't used them before. And of course, some electrical tape. Don't forget your wire stripper and your crimp tool. Here's my rear view camera, brand name Irapta. The power signal cable that comes out the back. Now you have the cable that taps into your rear taillight and then they provide you plenty of extra cable to run from your camera to your head unit. I'll break down all the connections a little bit later in the video. I'll give a breakdown of how I route the cable from my license plate bracket to my head unit. As you see, there's already a path that goes back behind my vehicle, back behind the rear bumper and over the frame. And that's the path I want to take. Sorry for the shaky camera, but trying to get some good angles. You see the frame underneath my truck. There's already a wire loom running across the top, so I will follow that same exact wire loom all the way down until I get to an existing grommet and entryway into the interior of the vehicle. My goal was to get the cable into the interior of the vehicle the fastest without actually having to pop new holes into my car. That grommet entry comes in right underneath my driver's side seat, so I will remove the seat, pass the wire underneath the carpet to the left of the gear shift and up into the back of the stereo entryway. Now I want to actually start some connections. I'm removing the rear tail light cover to access the wires behind. In my case, it's really simple. It's only four screws and that rear tail light comes right out. Next step, I'll just verify which light actually will create the signal for my rear view camera. For me, it's a white middle light. And to do this solo, you can always just put your car in accessory mode and go to reverse. If you have a newer car, you may need to just grab a friend, put the car in reverse and have them tell you which light is reverse. That's very easy. Now for this particular light, the white and black wire is my negative and the green is the power and these are the two wires I will want to tap into. For clean install, this is where the tap splices come into play. Let's start the wiring breakdown. Now I've put a small diagram in the top left corner of the screen. This breaks down the wiring diagram for your rear view camera. The wiring represented here is somewhat universal between manufacturers. There may be some differences in colors but for the most part it's universal. From your camera, you will have two main wires, one yellow and usually one red or black. The yellow wire, also represented as the AV cable, is for your video signal. That will run through your car up into the back of your new head unit or the original head unit if it is able to show video. The red wire shown here, or sometimes it's black, now that is your power and signal cable. In this particular brand, from that cable, there's a black cable that plugs right into it, and that black cable is split into a black and red cable. The black cable goes to the ground for your rear tail light, and the red cable goes to the power for your rear tail light for the reverse light. Those were the black and white and green wires I showed you earlier in the video. Now going back to the yellow AV cable, that also is split into two cables. You have your red for this particular brand. Now that taps right into the power of the rear tail light, right along with the other red cable from the power side. And then at the head unit side, you have another red cable and that taps into the signal for the actual head unit itself. Next, I go to mount the rear camera. Just mount it right up to the license plate bracket. Try to center it as much as possible. Quick clip just showing the path I'm taking back behind my tailgate, back down behind my bumper. That's your AV and power cable that I mentioned earlier in the wire breakdown. Showing the routing once again. Hit on my crimps off camera. As you see, I did use the blue wire to extend some of the wires to reach the rear tail light. Now I'm gonna hide this all in a loom to make it clean and to protect it from the environmental effects like rain and water. Here I'm just showing the cavity where I brought the wires up through, right with the rest of the wires that are coming into the light. Also just showing here how I extended the wires and I tied them all together with tape just to protect the ends. Pulling out the rear reverse tail light, so that's the one I want to tap into. Just showing a quick clip of how an actual tap in and tap splice works. This way you don't have to really damage or cut the original wire, it just slightly taps in 
it has a bypass for the original wire and then the new wire just goes into the cavity like so and then you see that little metal bracket you just press that down and close the clip all together and it goes nice and tight very clean way to tap into existing wire if you notice I marked the ground with black tape just so I wouldn't confuse the blue wiring I cleaned it up a little bit zip ties put it right back down in the cavity She's showing the routing I'm taking in the loom I will clean it up later cut some of the zip ties short and here's a clip of showing all the path I took I ran all the wire now going all the way over the framing like I said and then eventually going up through the grommet as mentioned earlier I did want to remove my seat and also the trim to the carpet so I can have access to where the grommet hole was coming up through the floor nice easy access underneath the carpet very clean install going up underneath the carpet like I mentioned to the side to the left now you should have plenty of extra wire here um, after you find the connection to the back of your radio so be looking out also for places where you can tuck extra wire after you're done now it's testing time if you saw part one you see that bundle of wires that's what I previously installed for the new head unit I'm taking the yellow AV cable remember it had one big yellow cable that goes right into your rear camera input make sure it says RC rear camera and um, there usually may be a video V in as well and you take the red cable that's bundled with the yellow and you tap that right into the head unit's rear camera in signal wire because I'm testing I didn't crimp that but I'll go back and crimp it once I know for sure that everything works turning the radio on going into testing putting the car in reverse see if it works ah let's try take number two it turns out a wire was loose that's cool to all the signal success turns on now I mentioned in part one video that this particular head unit came with a USB cable that you can mount anywhere. So I'm going to mount that right in the cigarette lighter because it no longer works for me. So I'm just going to pop that out and pop that in so it makes a nice clean install there. Make sure to do a little clean up, clean up the cables, get everything clean right behind your head unit. Always makes it better when you have to go back in there for something. Now that everything's back together, it doesn't hurt to test it once again. Make sure you didn't mess up any cables, any connections. Everything works. I love that Toyota pop up for this head unit. It's very slick for that brand. But again, success. Everything works. Rear camera works. If you like this video, please like, please share. If you're watching, you have some tips, please put tips down below in the comment section. I try to learn as much as I'm teaching in these videos. It's always helpful to make me better. This is a community after all, so I'm just trying to give what I've taken from this community by showing a little tutorial. Well, that's all I have for you. Again, please like, share, comment, throw a tip or two down below. I'll catch you next time. I'm out.